in this video, I'm going to show you one of the best offenses in Madden 21, give you a play that you can use today that's going to make you very effective with that offense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time watching any of my YouTube videos, my channel is all about how to become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. Every day here on YouTube, I share free offensive and defensive tips and tricks, and so if you have not hit the subscribe button yet i want to encourage you to click the subscribe button it is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos right here on the channel so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be going over um one of my favorite passing concepts out of the bunch tight end which um, the bunch tight end in my opinion is the most simple and honestly it might just be the most effective offense in madden 21 so we're going to dive into that here in just a second but really quick before we dive too far into this uh, i want to let you know that if you have not got the bunch tight end offensive ebook the whole scheme i'm going to leave a link to it in the description you can get that bunch tight end offensive guide for just uh, fifteen dollars down in the description and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we put our best wide receiver um, in the slot in the slot corner or slot receiver position just like so and the play that we're going to be going over today is the play tight end corner now this is one of those plays that you can honestly run about a million different ways okay you can run this play all kinds of different ways the way we're going to show you how to run it today is probably one of the most underrated ways to run this play because of how powerful the tight end route is from the tight end corner. Not very many people leverage this tight end corner route, but this tight end corner route might just be one of the best routes in Madden 21. As you see, you get a natural man switch on that right side, and you're able to pretty much very consistently be able to beat man coverage. You're also going to be able to beat zone coverage. If they run something like a cover two hard flat on you, you're gonna have so much space to be able to throw this ball to your tight end. And so we're really gonna have to, um, we're going to really develop around this tight end route. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description to my full bunch tight end offensive guide. If you want to be able to run the bunch tight end like a pro, I would encourage you to take a look at that offensive guide in the description. Um, it walks you through everything that you need to know. But what we're going to do first and foremost is I want to show you some of the routes. So you have a lot of really, really, really powerful routes in this play, um, but you don't you know, again, this is one version of it. There's several versions of it. This is just one version of the tight end corner. In the ebook, we share all of them with you. But the, the first thing that I would recommend is I would go ahead and honestly what I would do is I would take um, the square receiver and I'm going to put him on a little um, flat route just like this right here. I'm then going to take that triangle receiver and I'm going to put him on a little underneath hitch route. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that circle receiver that's on that little post and I'm basically just going to motion him to the left side. Not very many people take advantage of this motion from bunch tight end, but that motion right there is super, super powerful. And what you're going to see is it's going to create a natural inside position. And it's also going to create a lot of space for you to be able to throw this route in the right position in the right situation. So again, all we're going to do is we're smart routing the circle receiver. We're going to flat um, the square receiver and then hitch the triangle receiver just like so. And then all we're going to do, and of course we're going to spot out that X receiver, but this is basically just a let, you know, kind of a nice little zone beater. This is incredible against zone. You're going to be able to hit, if they're running Mabel coverage, you're going to have options. If they're running kind of a, a, an intense drop everybody defense, I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to drop everybody back in coverage. And what you're going to notice is on the right side, because we're running that tight end on a corner route to the short side of the field, um, it's going to allow him to have a unique window of opportunity. So you'll see here, if I just pass like this hard into the outside, it's going to be a nice easy dot for about 20 yards. That tight end corner route is very, very difficult to defend. There's certain zones that they have to be able to have, and they also have to be coming from certain people. You're gonna see here that a cover four um, version of this zone is not gonna, I mean, it's not gonna be everything that they need. This is cover four, outside quarter, outside zone, but because we have that gunslinger ability, we're able to throw that corner out with ease that's what makes that corner route so powerful and that's why that corner route might just be one of the best routes in the entire game and that's what's cool about the, the bunch tight end it gives you so many powerful passing concepts 
and routes. Now let's say they're playing some underneath coverage on your little hitch here on the left side, then you're gonna have a lot of room to be able to just hit this route to tape on Austin over the top. It's a very nice little read. If you don't want to smart route him, you don't have to, okay? If you want to leave him on his default depth, that is 100% fine, I but I would 100% get messed um, encourage you to just motion that, that post route. But as you can see, you leave him on a stock route just a little bit deeper um, than it is the other way around. But as you can see, it's still very, very effective. Now, the reason that I personally like to smart route it in, in this situation is primarily for a situation where I'm going to be face, facing some type of cover three Mabel or something like that. But as you can see, you're going to be having a lot of opportunity to be able to throw this ball. Uh, against the cover three Mabel. It's a, again, it's all about where you snap this re this receiver. If you get this receiver out there a little bit, like I like to get him just almost all the way out there, you see that now he's got the whole middle of the field to be able to work, and you can basically throw that against anybody. Even when they have abilities on their corners, they're not going to be able to be successful. Now, really quickly here, I want to show you a Mabel coverage. This is kind of a standard um, practice. A lot of people like to drop everybody back. What's really cool about this play concept is because you're using a flat route to pull all of the flat zones out of the way, it's going to create a lot of space over the middle for you to be able to hit that wide receiver when he breaks across the formation. Now, if for any, if for whatever reason you don't want to hit that post route to that receiver, that's 100% fine because what you're going to be able to do is if they run that same Mabel coverage, you're going to notice that I can literally um, just simply motion, uh, because I've smart routed that X receiver, that tight end is going to get open in a very nice little pocket and I'm going to be able to hit that consistently. So this is what makes this bunch tight end so powerful is that even a standard Mabel like a 25 5 and 5 Mabel is not going to be able to defend this the best defenses in the game are going to struggle defending this offense and that is why I believe the bunch tight end is one of the most simple offenses to run but is one of the most effective offenses to run and so if you want to learn my full gun bunch tight end offensive scheme I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to get the entire offensive guide and you can get that guide for just $15. It's going to walk you through step-by-step step how to run the Gun Bunch tight end. I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. And there's going to be a link where you can get that Gun Bunch tight end ebook in the description.